Guys, Mark Goldberg here from Mark Vlogs Watches with a quick word for your friend and mine, Archie Luxury, Paul Pluta, AC3, Archibald Chesterfield III. You know, he invented the quick whist watch check, and uh, the rest of us on YouTube, well, we just stole it. Help keep Archie full-time on YouTube by liking this video, watching this video, tell your fuckhead friends, and make sure to subscribe to his Patreon. And now, Archie Luxury. Hey guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury Channel. Guys, it's uh, weight loss, weight loss time. And uh, look, I gotta tell you the truth there. I've changed my diet a fair bit, uh, but I've also got to do a bit more fucking exercise. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm going for a walk, <clears throat> going for a walk. I try and do this in the afternoon. I'm wearing my Reverso today. I normally wear my Casio, but I just felt like wearing the Reverso. I've got that on my house, 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 Meister, rice, rice, Meister strap. And uh, I got to tell you, man, it's uh, I'm trying my best. The Battle of the Bulge, fucking hard. So anyhow, uh, just making this vid here. How have I been mentally? I've been okay. Been okay. Been okay. I've actually gone to Singapore next week. Singers, I'm going to be going to Singers. If any fans want to catch up with me, I'd love to see you. Free feed, a drink. Hey man, love the watches. I'll be available 29th, which is uh, Friday, the 30th, and the 1st. I'll be available, catch up with singers, friends in Singapore. So uh, yeah, please email me, archieluxury72 at gmail.com gmail.com and uh, yeah that's it guys what have I been up to I went to look at cars my good friend Glenn came over with his brother three blokes looking at cars could be a new series take a look tell me what you fuckeroonies think of that <laughs> Hey Archie Luxury fans, if you're into luxury, then you gotta be into 66 Buick Rivieras. Check out my son and I, Alex, as we restore this beautiful 66 Buick. Neighbors are having a picnic, you know, having fun and stuff. Me, I'm doing cars. It's what I've done my whole life. Hey guys, it's Paul Pluta. This is a serious video and I'm not e-begging. I'm, uh, I'm not uh, asking for anything. If you are not in a good financial position, don't watch this video. Guys, I'm about to go to Singapore next week. Basically, I was under so much mental pressure. I, I was under so much mental pressure. I double booked i didn't even i couldn't even find the booking i was under so much mental pressure anyhow guys i i'm going to singers it's non-refundable uh i am completely skintus and broke absolutely skintus and broke guys i'd like to make a special appeal if there's anyone in the audience who could lend me 1,000 US dollars, that's correct, 1,000 US dollars. Um, I will pay it back in installments. Um, guys, if, you could, if somebody could lend me 1,000 US dollars, I, I do not want charity. Well, actually, I do accept charity, but this is a video uh, not asking for charity. If anyone could lend me 1,000 dollars, uh us or aussie doesn't matter i'd be really grateful and i will return it to you i will return the funds to you if anyone could lend me a thousand bucks i'd really appreciate it guys if you lend me the thousand dollars i'll pay you back guys um basically just paypal it to archie luxury at 72 dot so archieluxury72 at gmail.com and I will pay you back. 
if all I need is one person to lend me, look, 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 a thousand US dollars would be great. And I would really, 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 really appreciate I'll pay you back. I'll pay you back. I may be, I may be incredibly, um, you know, a little bit behind, but I always pay my debts back. I'm Paul Pluter. Please help me now. So I'm at the train station at New York Airport, um, heading back to, um, back home, I guess. And, um, they really didn't like that I was recording. So I did, um, choose a drink, by the way, and I'm actually thinking about, uh, I, well, I was planning on pulling a lighter to make up for my lack of productivity, but then, um, yeah, I don't really know about that anymore. I don't even know if it's necessary. Maybe I should fly back to the West Coast. Maybe I should stay here. Maybe I should go back to Boston. What do I do? Hey guys, it's Archie Luxury. Guys, I got a new fundraising scheme I want to talk to you about, guys. You guys know Christmas is nearly here. Yes, Christmas is nearly here, and I got a special combo meal deal for you guys. How about you get a personalized Christmas card from the Pontiff? I will, what I will do is I'll give you a personalized Christmas card from the Pontiff. And, guys, what you will, what I'll do is I will include in this Christmas card, uh, choice of Christmas cards, choice of Christmas cards, I will include a photograph, photograph of the pontiff, mine pontiff, mine pontiff, mine, mine pontiff, my pontiff, I'll enclose a photograph of the pontiff autographed, and I'll also, uh, so this is basically you get an autographed, a Christmas card from the pontiff. How much? How much? How much indeed? Okay, this is a strictly, strictly limited offer. Well, not really, but that's what they all say. Strictly limited offer, a Christmas card from the pontiff. All you do is email me. The price is 30 US dollars, 30 US dollars, 30 US dollars to archieluxury72 at gmail.com. All you need to do is give me the name and address of the person you want me to write the Christmas card to. If you want me to say it's from somebody, I can, I can, I can include that. If you don't, we'll just make it just from Archie. 30 US dollars. Now guys, there's more, there's more. If you order a second Christmas card, it is only an extra ten dollars. For forty US dollars, you get two, and for fifty US dollars, you get three combo meal deals. That's right, three Christmas cards from the Pontiff. This is internationally posted. No worries, postage is taken care of. Postage is taken care of for fifty dollars. So thirty dollars is for one. Forty dollars, this is all US. Thirty US is for one. Forty US is for two. Fifty US for three. You simply PayPal the money, archieluxury72 at gmail.com and email me, um, just email me the addresses and how many, just, just say, hey, I just sent you PayPal. I want two Christmas cards, through whatever number you want and you've paid for because I don't do shit for free and I will send the little fuckers out. So make your loved ones, your watch enthusiasts, get a personalized Christmas card from the Pontiff. That is correct. That is the way to go. The original meal deal combo buster. Combo buster. Guys, I really do appreciate it. Tell me what you fuckers think of that. So I finally did that um, thing that I had to do for that class. I feel like... I've just been violated 
it was fucking brutal. Now I am debating between getting drunk and then doing my actual job, which I didn't do for the last two days. Well, I didn't do much of. Or if I should actually do it, or if I should do both, which is probably what I'll end up doing. And then my flight's delayed, so I'm not sure whether I should, um... I can just book whatever the fuck flight I want now. Uh, should I stay? Should I go? Should I reroute? Decisions. Hey guys, it's Paul Pluto. I'm the method actor who plays Archie Luxury. And I want to have a talk to you about, about my last travel trip for 2019. My last piece of international travel. And I, I got to tell you the story. I got to tell you what happened. One month ago, I was under huge stress. I was biting, grinding my teeth. My teeth were bleeding. I was under a lot of pressure. And what happened was I had booked a hotel in Singers. And the day I was leaving, I couldn't remember the name of it or what fucking travel website I'd used. And it was partly because I was logged in. I used a different account. I normally use one account, but I'd used my Paul Pluto Prestige account to make the booking. I couldn't find the fucking booking. So I thought, maybe I haven't made the booking. And sure enough, sure enough, I fucking made the booking. And then I made another booking by mistake and fucked me dead. So anyhow, long story short, they said to me, look, we will change the date. We cannot refund the booking. We can change the date. So I thought, okay, I'll just pick the date. And I then fucked that date up. So I made, moved, moved it a week before. And yes, I'm actually going to go to Singapore for a couple of days. Yes, I'm going to be landing in Singers on the 28th and I would like to meet up for dinner with some fans. Yes, I would like to meet up for dinner, drinks, with some fans. So, you know, I don't need, we don't need to go super expensive. We can if you want to. Well, I'm always open to that, but um, I would love to go and meet a few fans, okay? I would really love to meet a few fans in Singapore. Uh, unfortunately, my good friend GJ, I had a fight with him, uh, so he's probably not going to see me. Uh, Raphael may see me. Raphael may see me. Um, so that's uh, that's a that's a good thing. He 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 might see me. Uh, Raphael's not a bad guy. I got to make a video on him. I got to make a video. He took me to the Singapore Cricket Club. I haven't done it yet. I've just been tied up with other disasters. Um. Yeah, I I got to tell you, that's what I've done. I've got to... So, guys, I'm putting this video out. I'm going to be in Singers. I'm going to be in Singapore. I land on the 28th. 28th is probably not the best. Well, maybe for dinner on the 28th. Uh, 29th. 29th is a Friday. The 30th is the Saturday. The first is the Sunday. I'm free. I'm free. I'm leaving on the the second. Early. Very fucking early. So the second's no good. Uh, so 28th for dinner. 29th. 30th. First. I'd like to, uh, I'd like to, I would like to honestly meet some fans. 
You don't, uh, you know, I, I, I honestly, <clears throat> I'd like to meet some fans. I would like to meet fans. I'd like to meet fans. I really would like to meet fans. Um, I'd love to. I'd love to chat watches. Uh, I'd like to talk about wristwatches, your hobby. I'd like to talk. You know. Um, you know, take take your girlfriend with you. Fine. Take your 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 wife, your mistress, whatever. Take it. Let's let's go and have some nice food. I'd love to have beautiful food, sit with fans, have a drink, a beverage. I'm on a diet, but if you pay for it, there's no calories in it. Come on, guys. I'm going to sing us. You want to see me? Email me now, okay? Email me now, and I would love to see you. <clears throat> have a drink, have a coffee. Let's even catch up at Marina Bay Sands. You know that expensive tea place, T G W T G T W G. We could go there, have a coffee or a tea, nice tea, Earl Grey or what do I get? What do I get? There's a fucking vanilla one I get. Have a nice tea together. Fucking have a great time! Come on, man. Come on. I'm coming to singers. This is the last chance. For a while, I'm short of cash. I'm short. I'm very fucking desperate. I already booked this this thing because I fucking I I I I I I post I I. It's a long story, but it's a long story. But I basically I basically uh, long story. I basically made the booking. I don't want to lose the forfeit the the booking. I'd love to see fans, talk watches, talk watches. I want to talk watches. Talk wrist watches. That's what I want to do. Talk wrist, wrist watches, talk watches, chew the fat. That's what I would love to do. Yes, I do. I want to do that. I want to do that, man. I want to talk wrist, wrist, wrist watch, talk watches. I want to talk about watches. Yes, I do. I do want to talk watches, wrist watches, quality watches. I want to talk about watches and just collecting in general. So please, let me know if you're interested. And uh, let's catch up in singers. Let's catch up in Singapore. I'm looking forward to it. I've been really stressed this year. I've had a lot of pressure and and, and and personal issues I would love to have a fantastic time so um yep yeah, that's that's the way it goes fuckaroonies that is the way it goes I'm Paul Pluter see me in singers tell me what you fuckers think of that David SW David SW, David SW, who does Archie Luxury recommend is the greatest grey market dealer in America? There's only one choice, David SW. That's right, guys. I've got to tell you the honest truth. I have for a long time been looking for the perfect answer. Who do I recommend people go to see? Who do I recommend that people can go and uh, buy watches. And I've got to be honest with you, the greatest, the greatest pre-owned dealer for Rolex, Patek Philippe, Audemars Piguet is David SW. David SW, David SW, David SW.com. That's right, guys. I have been looking for a contact who I can very nicely refer people too. I am not in the selling business. Customer service. I'm too old to sell watches. I'm too old. I like to recommend my viewers to a reliable source. In Australia, I've got some great sources. There's uh, Sydney Watch Exchange with Cove. Ronnie at Vintage Watch Co. Shani. Shani at European Watch Gallery. And in America, who is the best source for pre-owned Rolex, for all the hot models, 
There's only one person I would recommend, David S.W. David S.W., David S.W. That is the premier source for pre-owned Rolex. i got to be completely frank and honest with you. Guys, if you are looking for a hot Rolex model, there is only one place you can go to. David S.W. David S.W. David S.W. Let's be honest, guys. There's no point schmoozing, schmoozing, schmoozing the dealers, the ADs. They're just a waste of time. Unless you're going to buy 20 pieces, you are wasting your time. What you're better off to do is pay the market premium and go to a good Good pre-owned dealer. Who do I recommend? David S.W. David S.W. David S.W. That's correct, guys. I want to tell you this now. I 100% stand behind David S.W. David S.W., the greatest pre-owned dealer in the entire United States of America. That's right. The greatest pre-owned dealer for Rolex, for Patek Philippe, for Audemars Piguet, David S.W. He even does things like F.P. Jean. David S.W. David S.W. David S.W. That's right. If you want to buy a pre-owned Rolex, a Patek Philippe, Audemars Piguet, there's only one Good source, I would recommend David S.W. David S.W. David S.W. I'm Paul Pluto, the method actor who plays Archibald Chesterfield III, and I'm proud to recommend David S.W. See you later. Thank you for watching this channel. Five, one, two, seven. What is it exactly? Well, it's the replacement to the 5107. The 5107 had the flat bezel. The 5127 had a more curved bezel. Besides that there, this here is an early, early 5127. It features the rhodium plated version of white gold, French gray gold. Uh, it features the 315 movement as opposed to the higher beat 324 movement. This here features the classic crown guards. This is what Patek released in the early 2000s in the 5107. Nick Falk said this would have to be one of the most beautiful Calatravas of contemporary times. This watch itself is in the classic opaline dial it has the gray gold and it has the this is fitted i have fitted this piece with a 16 mil deployant buckle this was an optional extra the piece normally came with a tang buckle which i have preserved but i'd like to add a little bit of extra class to this Clatic philippe classic so i have fitted a deployant the deployant buckle gives this piece an added bit of class, which I think is not lost in the heritage and provenance of this piece. Absolutely beautifully done. The other interesting thing is a small anomaly is early versions were 57 dots. <clears throat> Later versions were 60. Have a look at the date windows. Notice it doesn't have dots going at the side. Later versions did do this with a 60 dot version of the dial. This is an early 5127. It also features the Geneva seal. A Geneva seal. <clears throat> An absolutely delightful Patek Philippe. 37 mils, but this piece wears, in my opinion, like a 38. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely perfect, perfect proportions. This is the meaning of Patek. This is the meaning of life. This is it. This watch here is the quintessential. This is the meaning of life, fuckers. This is it. This is what it's all about. A white gold Patek Philippe 5127G. This is the meaning of life. This is it. This is it. This is it. This is what it's all about. Patek Philippe at its finest form. Mm -hmm.